Oh hi everyone and welcome back to Not Another Bonsai channel. So you've actually joined me on a very good day because you can see not this tanuki, that's that Andy's tanuki challenge. That's going to come in an upcoming video so let's just put that to the side for a minute. What I wanted to show you in this video was this big box behind me. Now this was sent to me as a Christmas gift and it's full of trees. So this is it guys, this is the box of trees that I received the other day. So I received these just before Christmas and these I received from a good friend of mine called Brad. Now he doesn't have a YouTube channel but he does sell things on, on eBay and what he sells are Yamadori trees, some really good Yamadori trees. Now you might remember if you've been a subscriber of my channel for a while that I bought this tree which is the 99p English elm tree and I'll put a link to that video just up here. That was the whole Nightmare on Elm Street video that I did. And as it is, that tree's doing pretty well. But what we're interested in are all of these trees that he sent me. And let's take a look in one of these bags. So these, these are quite big, these trees. Oh, this is a collection of trees in this bag. Whoa. So this is quite a nice collection. I believe these are Lonoceras or Honeysuckle. So I think there's two or three in this bag. Let's take them up onto the table. Now you might be thinking, the table's back outside, and uh, you'd be absolutely right. You might remember end of last year, I had the black cloth down the back wall, I was filming in the greenhouse. When I did that, I originally thought filming in there would be easy, but I, I did end up having a few sound issues when it came to the microphone on my, on my camera. You might remember that if you saw my NABC holiday challenge video, my microphone just cut out. Uh, the main issue was the white balance and the glare issues. So I think with the sun blowing through the windows, it kind of made filming a little bit awkward. So I decided to bring everything back outside, go back to how we were during the summer. And so we just have to go back to filming out here. So now it's just, there's a little knot in the handles just on this side. So it's just kind of exciting. This is a bit like Christmas morning, you know, unpacking the gifts. You know, there's so many trees in this box. I was absolutely, when they arrived, I was absolutely amazed. And as I say, they're all a gift from Brad. He's a brilliant, brilliant chap and a really good friend of mine. Like, oh, look at these. So yeah, these are, this is a Lonicera or a Honeysuckle. Excellent. Look at the, look at the trunk on that. Fantastic. Really nice bend in the top. That'd make a fantastic looking tree. Excellent. That's fantastic. And then there's this other one. Now I think, I'm not sure, Entirely sure about that one. Again, plenty of roots in the bottom. There's even a worm, even a worm at the bottom. That proves that soil is good. So all of these on this side, these are all Lonoceras. There were honeysuckle on that side. This on this side looks to be an English elm. I think that's another elm. Not entirely sure about that, but some excellent movement of the branches. Really nice character, nice cascade. That's an excellent looking tree, some nice roots from what I can see down below. But yeah, nice collection of Lonoceras and a little English elm. But there's still more in the box. So uh, let's, uh, let's, take a, let's take a look at this big one. What is this big one in here? There's a lot of root on this one. Wow, look at this. Huge, great big tree. All right, so this is a great big tree. Let's uh, move these. I have so many trees, my table isn't big enough. Let's uh, move some of these over here. Quite a bit of space and what is this? I think this I think I think this is a crab apple. Pretty sure it's a crab apple. But let's take a look at the roots. Wow, look at these. So a lot of gnarly roots on this. A lot of gnarly roots on this. Wow, so look at that. Wow, look at the root base on that. Wow, crikey, we're gonna have to yeah, cut back some of these in order to turn that into a bonsai tree, but that's an interesting really. It comes up and then it goes back up again. It's kind of, kind of strange. I don't know if that could become a feature, but a very interesting tree. Also like the, the wound on the side here, you can see the bark has been stripped away at some point and it's started to heal over and, and uh, yeah, recover. So that's really good. And plenty of branches. There's branches coming out from all different, all different angles, all different sides. And yeah, it's going to be really fun trying to, you know, just select 
select the right branches to use to you know make this into a good looking tree but you know, even even a branch is coming down from like you know low, low below or down below even so we do this as a slight cascade kind of like this maybe have some branches coming up maybe have this as the branch going off and maybe train some of these to come down create sort of like a cascade tree that's a possibility maybe even a raft you know you could plant that like that and then have all of these these branches going upwards to form somewhat of a forest that's a possibility yeah really really interesting tree that one but there's still more in the box so uh, let's get this bag this to me looks like an oak tree so yeah, let's take these ones out of the bag. Oh, I think there's three trees in here. If we have three trees, we have this, which that's a really interesting tree. Kind of really interesting root base on this one. So you can see we have this root coming from almost have like an elbow in the root. So it comes kind of comes down, then it goes up. And then we have this branch coming up. So that's kind of a not necessarily a conventional feature you would see, but kind of interesting. I think this is, I think this is another elm. This is another English elm. And the roots are getting tangled up with that one. Let's try to thread that root. All of these, I guess, has three. So plenty of roots on this tree. But yeah, really, really interesting, weird looking tree, that one. It's going to make for an interesting looking bonsai. All right, if we move on to the next one, these, yeah, so this is the oak. The English oak. Just adjust my handles on the bag. Or oh, really, in, yeah, very nice root system on that one. Nice movement. There's a subtle bend in this one. Very subtle bend in the trunk. Nice branches. Uh, plenty of roots. Nice branch lower down. I'm not sure if I'll keep that one, but yeah, very interesting. Very nice looking tree. I like that one a lot. That's a very nice looking tree and I don't I don't have an English oak at the minute I've, I've uh, sowed some acorns whether or not they're germinate I, I don't know but as it is I don't have an English oak so yeah this is going to be a really nice addition to my collection and the next one is this one which is another bonacera a honeysuckle very interesting root base on this kind of we have another elbow in the root and it comes down and then goes out almost like at a right angle, which again isn't ideal, but might be able to work with it. Uh, plenty of branch branches lower down. Not much up top, but this I guess could be deadwood. Maybe we could turn this into deadwood. Plenty of roots, so it's a very healthy tree, but as for what we do with that, I'm not entirely sure. All of the foliage is low down, but that's going to be a nice challenge for the future and hopefully will become a very nice tree. And there's still more in the box. So these, I think, are more Bonaceras, although there is another tree coming out the side there which isn't. So let's take that up to the table and see what that is. So yeah, it looks as though the handles on this bag are tied again. So let's uh, unwrap these. This, uh, this really is like Christmas morning. It's, it's brilliant. And as I say, you know, these were gifts. Uh, Brad gave all of these trees to me. And as I said at the beginning of this video, you know, he isn't... He isn't on YouTube, um, he isn't a YouTuber as such, but he does have an eBay page and he sells plants like this or trees like this on his eBay page. Usually they're a little bit bigger, but he's a fan of my channel. He's watched several of my videos and he said, you know, Gav, it looks as though your collection is rather on the small side. Um, would you like a few more trees? So I just thought he's going to send me one or two, you know, trees that he didn't like. I had no idea he's going to send me all of these. <laughs> so yeah, when these arrived, I mean, it was a massive surprise and I thought, wow, you know, um, I opened the box. I had no idea what it was. I wasn't expecting a box this big. And when it arrived, you know, it weighed a fair bit. You can imagine, you know, all of these trees in the box. And I opened it up and I was absolutely amazed. All of these trees had been, been delivered. And I can't get that knot in the handles undone. All right, so we're back with some scissors. Yeah, they're not in that bag on those handles. It's really tight. I think it's because the bag's also wet that it's not making it easy to undo the knot. There you go. Here we go. Here we go. That's it. Let's just pop them up there. So yeah, these trees. Oh, cool. These, yeah, these are good. 
this this looks like a twin trunk this one so that's quite a big let's just put that one just down there for now and this one wow that's a twin trunk it's kind of interesting because you not only have the twin trunk down here well obviously coming up but each of these very quickly divide into two so you have like you have an elbow down here, which isn't ideal. You have roots coming off both sections. Then you have, yeah, then it quickly divides into two. So you have two branches coming up just here. And then over here, you can see all of the, yeah, these are interesting aerial roots coming down. Kind of a low branch there. Not sure what I'd do about that, but it quickly divides into two up here. And yeah, what a weird looking tree. And of course, this root here kind of comes around and goes around and under. Yeah, really weird looking tree, that one. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that, but a very strange, very strange looking tree. So let's just put that just with the other ones and reach down and get this one. So this one, I believe, is a... I don't think this is an elm. I think this is a cherry. I think this is a cherry. Plenty of roots, a very weird looking root system. Kind of have, you have a root here that's going down and then it goes back under. It's going not ideal. Kind of some strange looking roots. You have an elbow here, so you have a root going up and then back down. So again, that's not ideal. Kind of a, I think this is a branch. Yes, yeah, a branch. Went out from quite low down, actually below this root here, which isn't ideal. Um, quite a big, chunky root there. I mean, these would have been growing. You know, Brad collects Yamadori trees, you know, so he digs these out the, out the ground. So to some extent, you're going to expect this, you know, gnarly roots, roots growing in the wrong direction. I mean, he doesn't, he trains bonsai and he's, he has a quite an intensive collection of bonsai trees. But as far as, you know, getting them started and getting them going and ultimately getting the trunks nice and thick, he uh, collects a lot of these or grows them on in his garden. And I think most of these have been collected. Which is why you have some, you know, some funky roots and and uh, interesting root systems. But you know, this still adds to the challenge of growing this kind of material into a bonsai tree. But no, it's a very healthy tree, nice branches, very healthy, and yeah, it's going to be fantastic. So I think that's the cherry. So this is the last bag of trees in the bag, and again, they look like lonaceras. Actually, there's a that's not a lonacera. So what is that one? So yeah, it looks as though we have three more trees in this bag. We have so many trees, they're not all going to fit on my table. Let's push some of these back, try and cut a little bit of space. And to try and undo the knot in this bag, which is over on this side. Which I think what I do, I'll get my scissors back and just cut it. That worked better last time. There you go. And there's, there's another knot in this side. There you go. That's undone. So that's another Lonacera. That one, I think that might be a cherry, which means the other one, the other one must have been an English elm. So I know he said he did send me a cherry. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that one, which is a very nice looking tree. I like that a lot. Very nice trunk on that one. And then the last one is this one, which is another Ronacera. So yeah, this one, very interesting trunk. The root system isn't too bad on this. We'll need a slight trim and yeah, we'll need a few adjustments. But the trunk is interesting, comes up, nice bend up here, then goes straight up. Again, we could manipulate this somewhat. There's a, a branch just at the back there that has a bit of a twist to it. So you might be able to use that one, cut, cut off this straight section and maybe use that as the main leader. That's a possibility. I think this branch here is dead, but again, might make for an interesting feature, deadwood feature. Like so we have bits of packaging stuck on that. But yeah, that's a very interesting tree. Very nice looking tree. Let's just put that in there with the rest. Uh, let's take a look at the other one. So this is the, the last of the Lonoceras. Again, this is almost like a raft, a raft planting, because you can see there's one big root that's almost going straight across at the base, and you have three trunks that are coming up. Could, there's also quite a thick root coming out the back here. 
but again, we might be able to straighten these somewhat, maybe have like three trees coming up, almost like a forest, a three tree forest planting. That's uh, a possibility. You could even put a piece of, almost like a, a wedge or a piece of wood between these just to put, you know, push them apart and then have them grow straight up. It's also a smaller one just in here. That's trying to grow, so that could become our fourth tree in the planting. So it's almost taken shape already. You could have something along those lines. Yeah, it's a very interesting looking tree or a set of trees. I mean, we have so many Lonoceras that turning some into a forest seems like the most ideal choice. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's going to be an interesting project. If just put that in there with the others. Uh, there was this last one and the roots are getting tangled up. Now this was the cherry and this doesn't have a bad root system to it. It's not that bad. Again, not the ideal. No, that root isn't ideal. But again, we could trim that back. There's plenty of roots below it, so I wouldn't imagine that would be a problem. Again, a nice movement in the trunk, kind of comes up, subtle bend, comes up. And we could maybe utilize one of these slower branches. Do we need it that long? Perhaps not. We could cut it here, use that as our new leader, possibly or maybe form these into branches and then have this as the leader, cut this back, got a little shoot just up here, which I think there are buds in there that might develop and grow. And of course, then actually there's buds lower down, there's buds all the way up this branch. So again, any one of these could pop, take off, become a new leader. So plenty of choices for that one, but that's a very nice looking tree. And again, I don't have a cherry in my collection. So yeah, that is going to be a welcome addition. So yeah, wow, Brad, that, this is just amazing. I mean, I, I know you said you're going to send me a few trees, but yeah, this many is just, <laughs> wow. And I don't know where I'm, I'm going to put them all. I don't have a whole lot of space. But anyway, um, it's still going to make for an interesting challenge. Uh, I'm so thankful for these trees. I mean, a lot of these I don't have in my collection at the minute, so they're going to make fantastic additions. And uh, yeah, it's still going to make some interesting, uh, interesting upcoming projects. Um, now, I'm filming this at the beginning of January 2024. Uh, so it's not the right time to do any root pruning. Ideally, you want to wait until the end of February, early March, possibly early April, but I like to do mine between late February, maybe into late March. That's usually my repotting window. Uh, so I think we'll wait till then. So for the time being, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pot these on into regular garden compost, just a regular potting compost, just for the time being, just to keep them alive and keep them going. And then come the end of February, we can take a look at the root bases. And uh, I think for each one, we would have it as a separate video. So we'll maybe do, well, no, actually what might be better is we'll do the lawn areas in one video. So we can do the roots pruning and, you know, style the tops and do the necessary pruning up top. Then we can do the elms and the cherry in a separate video. We can do the oak and the crab apple. We can do that in another video and kind of just spread them out that way. And that just, you know, make it a little bit more interesting. Otherwise the video would be too long, but yeah, <laughs> Thanks again, Brad. This is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. But yes, as I was saying earlier, Brad doesn't have a, a YouTube channel, but he does have an eBay page. So I will link to that eBay page in the description box below. He usually has material like this available on his eBay page, usually better than this and a bit more established. And uh, yeah, he's a, he's a brilliant supplier of Yamadori trees. So if you're interested, head over to his eBay page, save him as a favorite seller, and he's bound to come back with more trees like this. But yeah, thanks again, Brad. That's absolutely amazing. So that's all for today, guys. Just thought I'd show you these trees that Brad has sent me. Hope you had a fantastic Christmas and all the best for the upcoming new year in 2024. And until next time, have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.